we started in the morning, obviously we went through our vehicle checks and staff checks and some staff welfare. Then we do our eight o'clock tactical cell meeting. So what we do with that one, we all get together, we know who's on duty, we uh, see who's where so we can spread the cover around. We get to know any situation most of these problems, uh, such as where are vehicle shortages, where we're short of uh, staff and also some hospital delays. And also last night, fortunately there weren't any, but we might have some uh, challenging jobs that we need to, to chase up and do some welfare calls for. Uh, what we do after that, we collate all the information um, and then we get allocated tasks. So our task this morning was the 9.30 North West Anglia call. Uh, we join that with our partners from North West Anglia, from the hospitals and from East Anglia Ambulance Service. Five-year-old male in cardiac arrest. Uh, was you able to attend as cardiac arrest lead? So we were tasked with cardiac arrest up on the east coast. We had to drive under emergency conditions to the job. Our primary role was to go as a cow cardiac arrest lead. And the job with the cowl is not to tell people what to do necessarily, but it's to allow them to do their particular role. So the person on the airway deals with the airway, the person on the uh, drugs cannulation deals with that. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the person was not responding to either the CPR and the drugs. We then spoke to the patient's family uh, and we asked them if they wished to come in for the last few minutes. We made the scene comfortable and safe for them and then we allowed to be with them while we ceased resuscitation. So they was with their family relative right at the end. And the other thing, of course, is after all that, we then have to think about ourselves. Um, some people have not seen a cardiac arrest before, some people won't have seen anything like that, and some people living where we do in, in this area may even know the patient themselves. So we have to be mindful, so we do a welfare afterwards and then we will follow it up later today and in a couple of days the station manager will also follow that up to make sure that we're looked after as well. It is a definitely a two-way process. crew on scene at 3 hours 40, uh, they're on their own, they're liaising with the out of hours, respect form is in place and they're administering fluids to leave the patient at home. So 6919, um, where they are it's difficult to get hold of them. I'll give them a quick, I'll see if I can get a hold of them. If you wouldn't mind, that, well, yeah, but, yeah. I'm sure they're alright, but uh, if you yeah. wouldn't mind that'd be lovely. Thank you Ducky. Yeah, no problem. Okay, thank you. Bye. 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 Agitated, can not get aggressive with crews. Uh, so just have the request and a call back from support desk, so I'm just going to ring them up just to make sure they're okay. Agitated, but we're all good. Um, it's quite calm now, he's just having his meal. Um, we're just doing paperwork and waiting for a call back. That's lovely. Glad you're okay. Uh, you take care now. Thank you. Yeah, you have to be